Hi there, this uh, very quick video shows you how to set up your blog broadcast and check it uh, on uh, Aweber for Auto Affiliate Program. Now I'm using a Mac on Safari so it might look a little bit different on your computer. Uh, you need to go to your Aweber account at aweber.com, go to the login page, pop in your details and log in. Now I have noticed, um, it's not on here at the moment, but over the past few days I've noticed that Aweber have changed something. So when you log in, there is a big notice normally appearing right here about the change. If that's there and you don't see a screen that looks like this one, then click on Home, the first tab, and it will bring you to this screen where you have all of your lists listed. So as you see, I've got quite a few lists, but you might have just the one. So you need to make sure you've got the list selected that you're using to advertise the free book of the day book. So mine is called Free Book of Day. The name of your list is unique. Nobody else can have the same name as you, so you'll need to call your list something different. Now that's, that name is what you put into the members area on uh, the Auto Affiliate Program website. And that enables us to incorporate your form into the free book of the day site. However, when you go into the list, uh, if we just do this on list settings, so make sure you've got your list selected in this, um, this one here, I've just changed it to the wrong list, just bear with me, free book of day. So free book of day, that list is selected, go into my list tab, hover over that, and scroll down to list settings, so the first one. And now in here you have at the top three tabs. The first one, basic settings, you've got your list name, which is unique to your list. We've then got your list description, so it's something about your list, uh, and then your name and uh, your email address and things like that. Um, as you fill these in, you do have to save your settings. On the second one, uh, your website address, those kind of things. This is where people will be sent to once they've um, completed your list. The important one is this last one here, the confirmed opt-in. This is the email that is emailed to people that sign up to your list. Now, as you can see, this is already filled in and it's usually filled in with default information. And this second section just here, it will say in here, we've received your request to receive information from, and then it will be your list name. Now, because your list name has to be totally unique, whatever you've called your list, it's really not going to make sense to the person that's receiving this email. So you need to click on edit and you need to type in right here um, something that's gonna make sense to them. So it doesn't matter what you type in here, just say we've received your request from the free book of the day website, or as you can see, I have put the actual URL in there. And then that will mean when that email arrives and people see it, they'll understand where it's come from, it'll make sense. So when you've done that editing, uh, make sure you save the settings on here and you can, you can change a couple of things there. And uh, when they've confirmed, you'll see the confirmation success page. This is where you want to put your free book of the day uh, website address. So with the little question mark P equals and then your number in there at the end. So you save those settings. Depending on what you've put in here, the people at Aweber might want to have a look and check it to make sure that what you've put is okay uh, before they uh, change those settings. But once they've checked it, if it is okay, they'll change it automatically for you. Uh, so you don't want that to be your list name. You just want that to say, we've received your information, uh, your request for information from the website at Free Book of the Day. Before we can send you the information, you need to click on the com confirm link below and then your people will do that. So save all that and that should go through fine. So once that's you've got your list set up with this, the reason I, I don't want you to uh, change the actual list name, which is here on the basic settings, that must be the same as what you've entered on the uh, Auto Affiliate Program website for this integration to work. Now, if we go over to the Messages tab and the Blog Broadcast, uh, you'll see the Blog Broadcast that you've entered uh, based on the tutorial that's in here. What I recommend is just to go into this by clicking on the link there. It's all load it load, load the thing up. And when it comes up, you don't need to change anything, but I suggest you do. So just click in the box, put a space in there and then delete it again. So it thinks you've edited the thing. And then when you come down and say, save blog broadcast, it's, it's gonna automatically make sure it's, um, it, it restarts it if there's been a problem with that. Now, if we go back, uh, if you save that actually, one of the ways that you can check this, uh, if you click on the test, uh, type in an email address in there, type in a name for it to use, and uh, click send, and that will automatically take the last post from the, um, the blog, 
and it will send that to your test email to make sure that's working. If you receive that email, that means that when new blog broadcasts are put out, this will pick them up within three hours and it will send those out to your list. So if, if you get this email, that's gonna be fine, but sometimes this email takes a while to come through. I'm just gonna go and have a look at my email now to see if it has come through. I'll just move these over so you can see it. And uh, not yet, but I do know that quite often these do take a while. So did, I, it will come through because I've checked it before, but sometimes this can take 15, 20 minutes. So I'm not gonna sit and wait for that to come through for you. But uh, do, do click on that test and uh, pop in the email address to make sure it is coming through. If it isn't coming through, then go through the tutorial in the Auto Affiliate Program tutorial page again and reset up that blog broadcast. Just delete the one you've got and reset it up. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll come through. There we go, look, mine's just arrived as I'm talking. So Stephen Hall, free book of the day. And it says, this week's free book is, and it's filled in the information. Now, this is quite important here because you'll probably notice on this email, it's a test email. And it says to download these great titles or browse our ever-growing collection of free books, visit our website at, and, uh, and then there is, there's no address for them to click on. And you'll notice these are blank, there's no addresses. And the reason for that, it takes the address from the list of people. It looks at what address they signed up at, takes that address, and it automatically puts it in there. So because we've just put in like a test email, we didn't sign up anywhere, so it can't put anything in that place. So the, this is done because it makes sure that when people click on the link, they're going back to your version of the free book of the day website where they signed up. So it makes sure it connects it to you and you still get the commissions on the sales. So there, there won't be an address in there, but when the proper ones come out, there will be those addresses in there. So that's all the checks, just to make sure everything's working. Once you've done those things, make sure you do click on save each time as you come out of Aweber. Any problems at all, drop me an email and I'll uh, have a look through it for you. And uh, if all else fails, then uh, if you're happy for me to log into your Aweber account and, and set things up for you, and then you can obviously change your password, then I'll, I'll more than happily do that for you. But I think if you go through this, then you should be fine. So there we go. And sorry it's taken me so long to get this video out to you. Take care.